today we'll be discussing the uterine ligaments. Um, here I have this lady to show that the uterus is only present in women, um, but not always. And we're wondering how does this uterus um, stay in position and how does this uterus get its blood supply? Okay, so on the other page, right here, we have a schematic or a real life picture of the uterus. And the uterus has nine ligaments nine ligaments two relating to the ovary um three um relating to the uterus itself and four in the broad ligament okay so the broad ligament acts like a wax or a little um blanket that falls all over the um pelvic organs and the broad ligament is divided into four um four parts okay so this all this entire sheet is the broad ligament right here Okay, so the broad ligament is divided into four. We've said that before. It, it covers the um, fallopian tube and it's called the mesosalpinx. It covers the um, um, ovary and it's called the mesoovarium. It covers the uterus and, it, and, it's called, and it's called the mesometrium. And it also forms a double layer fold called a ligament. Okay, now this round ligament, um, this round ligament comes it attaches the uterus fundus to the um, labia majora so if i were to draw this for you and if i were to draw this for you this would be a cross section of our uterus right like that this would be a cross section of our uterus this would be our labia okay so this is be our labia okay and we're still in the um broad ligament so this is the fundus of the uterus right here is the fundus of the uterus so we have two um ligaments called the round ligament which comes in it it goes like this and it bends it travels through the um inguinal canal and through the labia majora it attaches to the labia majora and this would be our ovary Right here and our European tubes coming out like this okay so everything that covers the uterus is the um, mesometrium everything that covers the um, fallopian tube is the mesosalpinx and everything that covers the ovary is called the meso ovarium okay and we have a double layer of the broad ligament forming the round ligaments which transverses through the labia majora Okay. All right. Okay. So we also have um, two other ligaments that we need to talk about, which are the ovarian ligaments. Now we have a ligament that attaches the ovary to the uterus, and this is called the ligament of the ovary. Okay. The ligament of the ovary just attaches the ovary to the uterus so that in your um, pelvic um, girdle you don't have your ovaries running about everywhere that'll just be ridiculous okay we have another um ligament called the suspensory ligament of the ovary which is right here and the suspensory ligament of the ovary is responsible for bringing um the ovarian blood vessels so the suspensory ligament of the ovary is called also called the indo infundibular infundibular pelvic ligament infundibular pelvic ligament infundibular pelvic ligament also called the ovarian ligament um, carries the ovarian vessels okay now where is the ovarian vessels where exactly is the ovarian vessels now the ovarian vessels are part of the abdominal aorta okay so if i were to just show you it right here um let me get the picture okay so the ovarian ligaments right here ovarian ligament or the ovarian artery I should say comes in through the suspensory ligament and supplies the ovary okay now the ovarian artery is a branch of the abdominal aorta okay right so so this is the suspensory ligament and then the ovarian ligament which attaches the ovaries to the um, to the uterus now right next to the suspensory ligament we have very important structure. 
does anybody know? Very important structure known as the uterus. So we have two uteri like this, which joins with the bladder, right? So this will be our bladder right here, and this will be the uterus. So when we want to perform an oophorectomy, where we cut off our ovary or we want to become sterile, the surgeon, what will happen is that they will, the surgeon will the surgeon will cut the surgeon will give me a second now when we want to perform an oophorectomy the surgeon will have to ligate this suspensory ligament ligate this suspensory ligament right here now we're seeing that the suspensory ligament is in direct or very close pro proximity to the ureter. It's very it's, it's in very close proximity to the ureter. Okay? So, as a result, we can end up cutting the ureter um, when we're performing a oophorectomy, so it's we must take good caution. Okay? All right. So now we're going to talk about the ligaments of the um, uterus itself. Now the ligament of the uterus, there are three ligaments that we need to be aware of. Um, on this diagram, we don't see it, so we're going to go on to the other diagram to explain it. Okay, so this is the same cross section of our uterus, and here will be the I'm trying to draw it. Here will be the sacrum. So this is posterior, and here will be the um, pelvic. So this is inferior, sorry, anterior. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the ligaments now. Okay, so there is a ligament that attaches the uterus to the sacrum called the uterosacral ligament. And then there is a ligament that attaches the cervix, so this will be the cervix, the cervix to the pelvis, and it's called the cervical pelvic ligament. And then there is a ligament that attaches um, laterally called the cardinal ligament. Okay, so it attaches laterally. And it's called the cardinal ligament. So this is the um, uterosacral, um, cervical, or pubo cervical. And this would be the transverse or cardinal ligament. If I were to draw this, like this, like you're viewing from the top, the uterus will be here, um, the bladder will be at the front, and the rectum will be behind. You will have um, this ligament, so here the uterus attaches to the lateral wall of the pelvic girdle, and that's our cardinal or our, our transverse ligament. The uterus attaches to the sacrum, so this will be posterior and this will be anterior, and this is called the ureto. Um, Uterosacral ligament and the uterus attaches to the pelvis, and this would call the sorry the cervix attaches to the pelvis, and this would call the um, pubocervical ligament. Okay, so where does the uterus get its blood supply? The uterus actually gets its blood supply from the cardinal ligament or the transverse ligament. So this ligament right here. Okay, so if we were to go on our diagram. The transverse ligament will be right here in that area, and that's where the uterus gets its blood supply. But where does the um, trans where does the uterine vessel come from? The uterine vessel comes comes from the internal iliac artery. So if we were to go on the previous page, or the this one right here, so we have the internal iliac artery giving rise to the uterine artery which transverses or travels to the uterus via the cardinal or transverse ligament. So this has been the um, uterine ligament, and I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way, please like. And if you watch my other videos and you've enjoyed them, please subscribe. Thank you.